Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, so today I came here to basically give you guys the sources I use to basically like get my information. And also I am getting the help of an editor for this video. You will see the editing skills Ryan has. <laughs> okay, let's go off source number one. Okay. Source number one I want to promote is a good friend of mine. His name is Jason Unruh from Mouse Rebel News Network. Jason Unruh from Mouse Rebel News Network is a great comrade of mine. I've actually met him, but not in person. Like, I've actually talked to him, and I'm part of his inner circle, so great. And he's actually defended me publicly. Next is my other good colleague and friend of mine, Franco from Frank Analysis. Frank Analysis is a journalist that's a part of MCS Network, covers news, information, and other things as well. The other person I also love is Facts on the Ground. Uh, they are part of MCS Network. They, are, they have an uncritical analysis of what is happening, an uncensored critical analysis of what's happening in this world, hosted by Jesse Zarrell and Minsty Winston and also Slow News Day, hosted by Steve from Action for Assange, I think? Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. And next, Nico House from MCS Network, where basically he also covers the news and is pretty critical of Joe Biden. I have my critiques of Nico House, but I do like watching his content. Next, I watch The Convo Couch. The Convo Couch is a great news source that I have been watching for a while. The Convo Couch is not only the name of the show, but the spot of magic independent alternative media takes place, rooting in progressivism. We will continue to provide a voice for all types of people and candidates willing to fight for the little guy and stand up against the machine. Your help, we can continue to grow. And next is Chicago Corner, hosted by my colleague, Ali Alexandra, and I also recommend you go check out her Substack. Her Substack has a lot of great articles. Article, one of her articles about DSA was able to get on the Jimmy Dore show. Next, I recommend you watch Robbie Jake, where he is an independent investigative journalist, lead political finance reporter of the MCS network, follow the money, inquiries, tips. Next, Digital Liberation Front, progressive policy, news, activism, and stories without corporate driven biases, independent media by four progressive certification pending members of the cwa news guild and krtd media a media network that i work for they have investigative journalists like carrie barber carrie barber is a great journalist who works for digital liberation front and krtd media who has been known to be finding like lots of corruption and I also host a podcast on KRTD Media. I have it as a playlist, the International Workers Movement Podcast. Go check it out. Then you also have the Jimmy Dore Show. Recently, I have made my criticisms of the Jimmy Dore Show, but I still like watching some Jimmy Dore's content. And next, I recommend you guys watch The Gray Zone. The Gray Zone is a great investigative journalist, anti-imperialist investigative journalist network which I recommend you guys go check out. And go check out The Empire Files, a independent documentary and interview series hosted by Abby Martin reporting on war and the inequality of the heart of the empire. And I recommend you watch the Pyongyang broadcast service of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. They are the broadcasting news outlet in the DPRK, aka known as North Korea. Next, I recommend you watch Telesaur English. It's the official channel of Telesaur, but it's translated in English. I recommend you go watch my friend Yellow Brick Road. Yellow Brick Road is a great content creator. Funny as hell. <laughs> Lots of funny things I've talked to him about. Next, I recommend you go check out PressTV.com because they're where you can get your news sources about Iran and also the Middle East. Next, for other sources for debunking anti-communist propaganda, I recommend you go check out the People's Socials Archive. I used to be a moderator there. I'm no longer a moderator because I'm not a dangist. <laughs> but they do have some good things. But warn you, it's a pro-China server. 
Next, I recommend you go check out my server, the Maoist Archives. I'm still building it. Link will be in the description box down below. Next, I recommend you go check out my server as well. Next, I recommend you go check out my colleagues, Anti Conquista. Even though I might disagree with them on China <laughs> and Venezuela socialist, they're a great anti imperialist network. They make some great content. Y'all should all watch. Anti Conquista is an anti imperialist media collective. Our content is produced by and for the Latin American Caribbean diaspora. And I recommend you go check out this Twitter account. Their name is Marco V. Van Buella, the chief information officer of the Communist Party of the Philippines and where I get my news about the Philippines as well. And next, I also recommend you go watch Redneck Economics. Redneck Economics is a great channel from run by a woman named Stephanie. Stephanie is also in the same state I'm at, West Virginia, but she lives in the capital. Great channel that I recommend all y'all you go check out uh, if you want some news about Appalachia and all that stuff. And also, I will basically give you a link down in the description to the editor of this video, which he's a great guy. Go check out his channel, links down in the description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Join my Discord server in the link down in the description. Join my mouse archive, and I'll see you next time. Like, share, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to go like, share, and subscribe to these media sources that I have posted on there. And these are the news media sources that I'm thinking of going to use the next time I report on the news and what's happening. So thanks for watching guys. Okay guys, see you next time. Bye-bye.